Har du varit gift någon gång? Nej, det närmaste jag kommit till en förlovning som var i exakt eh, fem månader, tre veckor och två dagar. När jag upptäckte att jag var förlovad med någon som jag inte kände. Men han slutade vända upp och ner på din värld. Nej, de... så vet jag inte om jag har träffat någon gång. Men... Kiss Me is a Swedish film from 2011 where Mia and Frida meet at their parents' engagement party. Förlåt, får jag låna tändare av er? Ja. Fan, det är ni! Hej! 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 Har ni hälsat? Nej. Nej. Ja, det är Mia, min syrra. Frida. Frida, Elisabeths dotter. Ja, huh? ah, okej. Okay. <laughs> from the first moment their eyes meet, there is an attraction. Jag håller nu på med flörter, men... Va? Men vad? Med Frida, såklart. Det verkar vara väldigt trevligt ihop i alla fall. When the two of them go out to spend time with their respective parents at the holiday house, they draw closer together. Kom, jag ska visa dig. But it's clear that their attraction is bigger than either of them, even if Mia is not ready to face it. Love your sister, May. This film embodies an elegant simplicity. The story is straightforward, predictable even, using the well-worn trope of silence and lingering looks, but it works well to illustrate the unspoken and unnoticed nature of their attraction, enhanced with the juxtaposition of Mia's subtle friction with her fiancé Tim. The theme of infidelity in both Mia and Frida's experiences with it further illustrates the power of what they are feeling and the inevitability of their coming together. Alla känner så mycket för någon som jag känner för dig i mitt liv. Nu ska jag gifta dig med Tim om tre månader. Jag är dum i huvudet. Mia and Frida's first kiss takes place in a dreamy sequence, as if Frida had whisked Mia away into a magical land of midnight forests with antlered deer, midnight swims and ponds where it felt like fairy folk would appear at any moment, serving to heighten their stolen kisses while also helping us understand why both of them would betray their own principles and cheat. There is an element of escape in this place so far away from their real lives. When they do come together, it is again in silence, with no score and barely a sound, which struck me as symbolic of the silence in which Mia had lived her queerness until then, but also enhancing the impact of their lovemaking and how shaken Mia is by the encounter in a way that frightens her, because it's clear that the deepest part of herself has been touched, something that Tim hasn't been able to do, and she won't be able to ignore this any longer. I think so many come left it out. It's a beautifully shot film, an easy, enjoyable watch that leaves a good feeling at the end. When it was made just as sapphic representation was about to take off, it felt groundbreaking to me. Today, upon rewatch, less so because there are so many quality options available, but overall this film holds up, so I expect that it will remain a firm favourite for sapphics looking for a satisfying love story. 
Kiss Me is currently available for free on Tubi. I've popped the link in the description. If the link doesn't work for you, you'll probably need a VPN. And I have a link to an 80% discount with three months free also in the description. If you enjoy this video, be sure to check out my review of Disobedience. And until next time, lady lovers.